everybody, I'm Stephen Hume and I got your product review today. I'm taking out the FX Nitro MTX. Follow me, I'm gonna put it to the test. Okay, the first thing you're gonna notice, the FX Nitro is fast and it's nimble. This thing dances across the powder like you wouldn't believe. The Nitro is also very torquey. You're gonna get in some positions where you're gonna feel that thing grip and it's gonna propel you forward. You're not gonna have any problems. You'll notice on the Nitro how easy it is to maneuver. The weight, the ergonomics, everything comes together to give you a perfect ride. One thing that's always nice for me, because I have big feet, is the running boards. And the Nitro has wide running boards. Plus, give you great traction. You're not gonna slip off. You're gonna be able to plant your feet and go up that hill. And for those of you out there who like your speed, the Nitro is fast. You got a really great top end. You're gonna be able to go as fast as you want and you're never gonna feel a lack of power. One of the things I noticed about the Nitro that I was really impressed with is that the engine is very smooth. I didn't feel a lot of vibrations. I didn't feel any hiccups. It just took me where I wanted to go and it took me on a smooth ride. Now let's go ahead and hop off and show you some of the features up close. Now that was some fun powder riding. Everybody, this is the FX Nitro MTX from Yamaha. This is a 2008 machine and if you're a powder hound, this is what you want. This is a four stroke, three cylinder powerhouse. Very fast, very powerful, very torquey. I'm gonna take you around, we're gonna look at some of the specific features on this machine and I think you're really gonna like it. Now follow me around back. This is cool. I want you to look at this exhaust. Now first you'll notice it's a single exhaust. Now that's unique among Yamahas. The four stroke Yamahas, including the Nitro here, the engine is actually backwards. Now what that does is that it takes away the heat from the front of the machine and it sends it out the back. So the snow actually while you're going through the powder is cooling the exhaust. That also allows for a more even distribution of the weight. So as you know, when you're dancing through the powder, this is gonna work with you and it's not gonna hinder your performance. Another nice thing is if you look here on the line, it's been tapered. So as you're jumping from side to side when you're out riding, your foot's not gonna get caught on anything. It's gonna be smooth. So you can go from left to right with no problems. Now on back here, there's a couple other things that I'm gonna wanna point out. First of all, you got an LED taillight, but look at this track. Camelplast Maverick track, 153 inches with a two and a quarter inch tread height. Now check this out. You got a couple here and there that are softer. They bend with the snow and then others that are a little bit more sturdy. Now these that are soft are gonna help you when you're in the powder. Basically they're gonna bend and they're gonna keep you up on top of the powder. While these that are a little bit harder are gonna help you when you get into the hard pack. They're gonna dig in, they're gonna propel you forward and you're gonna be able to have the riding experience that you want. All right, as we move over to the front end, the first thing that you're gonna notice is the look. This is a very distinct looking snowmobile. The reason for that is because of the inner workings right here. You have an aluminum die cast bulkhead, which is very strong and sturdy, but also extremely light. Also, you have a tube construction here in the front end, which is also light and sturdy. So they've been able to cut down a lot of the space that you have here on regular snowmobiles. Gives it a really great look. You also have a double bulb halogen headlight here. You also have a great aluminum grab bar here, so if you ever are stuck in the powder with this machine, not very likely, but if you ever are, you got easy access here and you're gonna be able to pull it out. Aluminum high pressure gas shocks. Has a double front end A-arm suspension. It's an aluminum spindle. A great front end. And after 40 years of making snowmobiles, you know why. Let me climb on the Nitro now. Look at this, I'm a tall guy. Stand up, I'm comfortable. I don't have to hunch over. I sit down. I'm comfortable. That's what this was made for. It was made for trail riding. It was made for powder riding. This is gonna get through whatever conditions you want it. And you're not gonna to have to worry about being in a comfortable position for a long time. You got nice hydraulic handbrake. You also have a parking brake that's mechanical, which is unique to Yamaha. Then you've got your hand warmers, which these are full hand warmers that are hooked so you don't slide off. You also have your gauges right here. That has, you know, your LED screen and your basic readouts. You've got your speed your RPMs, you've got your fuel. It also has the control so you can see how hot your hand warmer is, all of that stuff. Now here's something that I really liked. Right here, you have a hookup. So if you need to charge your cell phone, if you're listening to your tunes, whatever, you can charge it off of your snowmobile. That's really nice. No more worrying about your batteries if you're gonna be out for three or four hours riding. You got your charge right here in an emergency. You also have your key start here. So with a single turn of the key, you're ready to go. No more drawstring. As you can tell, this is a four stroke and it's very, very quiet, which is great because you're not gonna take anybody off when you go out in the back country. And even better, no smoke. Very environmentally friendly. It's got a reverse right here, so you're not gonna have to pull it in the snow. The Nitro is an extremely impressive machine. And if you want one of your own, there's only one place to look and that's Dick's Boat Shop. Yeah, it's Dick's Boat Shop, but they also sell snowmobiles, surprisingly enough. Remember that, that's where you wanna go to check out a Nitro. Once again, I'm Stephen Human. I'll see you next time.